side with the UN Climate Change Summit right here in Warsaw, Poland, where Democracy Now! is broadcasting from for the week. I'm Amy Goodman. The organizers of the UN Climate Talks here in Warsaw are facing criticism for accepting corporate sponsorships from major car manufacturers, oil companies, steel manufacturers, and car firms, coal firms. Companies include BMW and General Motors. Meanwhile, the Polish Ministry of Economy has teamed up with the World Coal Association to put on this parallel international coal and climate summit. We're joined now by we're joined right now by Pasco Sabido. Um, Pasco Sabido is from the Corporate Europe Observatory. He helped write a new booklet called The COP19 Guide to Corporate Lobbying, Climate Crooks and the Polish Government's Partners in Crime. Uh, welcome, Pasco. Talk about who is here. What is unprecedented about this COP19, the Conference of Parties, the UN Climate Change Summit? Yeah, I mean, I think just to say that this this is perhaps the most corporate climate talks we've ever experienced. That's not to say that previous ones haven't had a, a large corporate influence, but what's different this time is the level of institutionalization, the degree to which the Polish government and the UN, the UN FCCC, the Framework Convention on Climate Change, have welcomed this with open arms and have actively encouraged it. So, I mean, the three key uh, ways they've done this is there was the pre-negotiations uh, that happened in October here in Warsaw and the, the Polish presidency, so the presidents of the climate talks, invited only business, uh, civil society, so NGOs, journalists, academics were not allowed to attend. So you had exclusive access uh, to negotiators by business. So a real chance to set the agenda. And then here at the talks, I mean, there's 13 corporate sponsors, the first time we've seen this degree. But to just uh, to shed a bit of light, the Polish presidency asked 150 different corporations to sponsor this event, and these were the best, the best of the bunch. But, I mean, as you said, General Motors, who are known for funding climate skeptic think tanks like the Heartland Institute in the US, you have BMW, who are doing equal things uh, in Europe, who are trying to weaken emission standards. How is BMW trying to weaken emission standards? Uh, it's been leaning on the, Pol uh, on the German government, on Angela Merkel, to delay a vote in the European Parliament that's supposed to say car emission standards will be improved. And instead, it's had the deal delayed again and again and again um, to the degree where actually now uh, it's being it's supposed to be voted on by the Lithuanian presidency. So this is perhaps a bit EU talk. But just, uh, just to say, the Lithuanian presidency, who is supposed to be allowing this vote to happen in Europe, is also sponsored by BMW, has given them 180 cars uh, for the presidency. And then it turns out that Angela Merkel's party, the Christian uh, Democratic Union, also received three quarters of a million euros from BMW's owning family. Um, so I think BMW have, uh, have a, a quite a fishy role to play here. But not only car companies, there's airlines like Emirates. Uh, we have, I mean, what's incredible is some of the biggest fossil fuel companies. So we have Poland's own state fossil fuel companies, PGE, the Polish Energy Group, who are really big in lignite mining, uh, coal mines, are planning to build yet more coal plants. I think there's 40 um, that are already in existence, and they have plans to build more, as well as the Lotos Group, um, another Polish uh, fossil fuel company dealing with oil, um, who claim that their practices, so they drill in the Baltic for oil, the only Polish company to do so, they claim their practices are probably the least nuisance to the environment possible. Um, I'm not quite sure if they have, they've been missing the news and haven't seen what's gone on in uh, the deep water horizon in the Gulf of Mexico, but oil drilling is not environmentally friendly. It's not something that we need to uh, tackle climate change. And yet these organizations are here on the inside and they have their logos plastered all over this conference center. Uh, and, uh, and as a result, they're able to wrap themselves in the colors of the UN and claim wrongly, of course, to be climate champions, which is incredibly damaging.